Master experiments here. So my mom got interested in insects a little bit, and like she decided to buy this cool ant farm and some harvester ants. They don't have a queen, but when they all die, uh, I'm feeding. Um, I am going to use this specifically for my ants. Master experiments. So unfortunately, my Campanotus pennsylvanicus queen passed away. However, my mom like gained an interest in like ants and stuff and she bought this ant farm and these harvester ants and they're really cool after they all die i'm gonna get a new ant colony i'm gonna grow it from a queen and i'm gonna move them into here i'm gonna clean it out first so that there's no ant diseases or viruses but yeah she also bought these cool caterpillars cup of caterpillars they're growing bigger they're really cool too and some ladybugs i'm not sure how they're doing she's keeping them in my room since i keep my room the hottest in the house so yeah as you can see my campanotis colony is done for the queen was moving for a little while i was feeding them spiders caught wild because unfortunately my mealworm guy has closed shop because of all of the coronavirus stuff i can't get mealworms so i've had to feed wild spiders and hunt and I used agave nectar instead of honey because I'm not sure if there was like um if there were pesticides built up in the honey which was what was killing my ants that was one of my theories of what was killing them so yeah I'm just gonna clean this out I guess and be done with it yeah usually if I blew like hot breath into there they would all start moving but they're long gone Sadly, I pulled out the cotton tube using some wood. This is a really cool stick that I found in the woods. It looks like a wand, so I kept it. But yeah, I'm gonna clean this out in the dishwasher, I suppose. Be done with it. Before I catch more ants, I think I'm gonna wait until Tetramorium nuptial flight. Tetramorium or pavement ants, those, those are the little black ants that you sometimes see in huge masses. They're tiny ants, but they create big colonies. And they are not picky. They're very versatile and eat any food. I don't really want to... I think that I already missed winter ant nuptial flight. Since in my experience, winter ant nuptial flight always happens in mid-April. However, it's been a very cold April where I live. And there hasn't been a single day above 70 degrees shortly after a rainstorm. Which is when the winter ants fly. Um, and I am not planning on a Campanotis nuptial flight since my parents don't want me keeping carpenter ants anymore. And I'm going to respect that boundary. So yeah, I'm going to wait until June, Tetramorium nuptial flight. And that's when I'm going to get my next queen. So, hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video. I've been feeding these ants peanut butter since they're harvester ants. And peanut butter is made of nuts and also agave nectar. Since it's sugary, just take a... Uh, Take a piece of, of paper towel and soak it in agave and just add it in.